this is called Canada Coombe, this little lane. There's a actual sign over there. Canada Coombe, Hutton. Yeah, I've been up there before. And then up here as well. Chestnut Cottage, eggs for sale. Can't carry any eggs with me. <laughs> Would do. Reminds me of a childhood whenever I walk anywhere like this. Rural Somerset. I mean, obviously, you've got vehicles now, and you used to have carts and horses. See, that was a, probably a barn once, it's just a garage now. Look. See the little step there? Maybe this is where they put the milk out once. Or where you climbed up to get on your horse, even. There's little things like that, little features. Orchards. Yeah, it's very pretty, isn't it? That's why I wanted to do this walk. It is a walk I do from Hutton. It's incorporated, yew tree cottage. I mean, I've done um, these walks before videoed and that, but probably not with this camera. And although they rotate your, your videos on Facebook, it could be that this one might not come round again. So it's always a good idea to do another video. There's a horse there. Yeah, there's somebody coming. I can hear tyres. Tucker. Canada, Canada farm, that is. Tucker family. They might be coming up here, I don't know. You can imagine the water coming down here, can't you, when it... Little flower there, isn't it? Little flower. Yeah, this, uh... I suppose you really got to like being out here, though. You've got no Tesco Express, no hole in the wall, no bus exactly from here. So, you've got to keep your legs strong or you've got to have a good vehicle. Yeah, you can see why people didn't move about a lot, can't you? Even 50 years ago they didn't, 40 years ago maybe. Um... You were stuck in your village, and you, of course in the medieval times you had to get permission if you wanted to move. Unless you went on a pilgrimage. That's why the, like my farming family up in Cambridgeshire, the Oak family, they, uh, they all married probably local girls from other villages, it's just what they'd done. 
you know, we've got Brinkley, Dullingham, Borough Green, Stetchworth, Newmarket. It's all around that area, Dullingham. Obviously, with the higher up people in my tree, the Dullum, the, those people that own the mansion and the manor and everything, they would be more mobile. They would have had horses and carriages and things like that, you see, to get about. Or road horses. Yeah. A different world. Especially for men, it was a good world, probably. All that power and control they had, like my ancestor, Sir Martin Stutfell, he was a magistrate, a landowner. He come from the Stutfell family, who arrived with William the Conqueror 500 years before his date and a thousand years before me. And, uh, yeah, my mum died in 1966. You know, a good thousand years, wasn't it? Before the... Well, nine, 900 to a thousand years after the Battle of Hastings. She, my mum would have loved fam, my family tree I'm doing, you know. My mum would have loved it. And my dad, they would have loved what I've done. And I, I would wish I'd, they were still around. There's still so many questions and all the old people have, have, have gone, really. They've all gone, my dad and his brothers, his sisters, my mum. I've got one auntie maybe still alive called Auntie Ellis. But she doesn't know, she was born much later. She wouldn't know what my mum would have known. You know, about my grandparents and got so many questions and there's just nobody about to ask now. And when young people aren't interested in the tree, I think, well, don't leave it too late. That's why I've been recording everything. This, my videos, my photos, is what I call living tree. I'm passing on something. I don't know, even if a, a small part of it gets saved and kept. Not just to say who I am, but to pass on some information. Be able to pass on some information about your ancestors more emotional and personal stuff as well um, the only thing we've got in the past is um, if anyone kept a diary and of course they weren't always preserved it's funny what you talk about when you're on walks isn't it how being in the countryside can initiate all sorts of thoughts and feelings Nothing in here today. Over and out.